Hey guys, it's Coop, and you've probably all seen this well-known symbol of the camera industry before. It's called a lens hood. Everybody knows that this goes on the lens of a camera, but that's kind of where the average consumer's knowledge of this product ends. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the two main uses for using this, how to use it, when to use it, and ultimately if it's worth it. So first off, one of the biggest reasons, and by far the most well-known reason for using a lens hood, is to prevent lens flares. Lens flares are caused by light hitting the camera lens at an angle, and it looks something like this. But don't get me wrong, lens flares are actually kind of helpful in some situations, and you kind of want them in more creative shots, but if you're trying to be more professional shooting just a product, you don't really want lens flares, and that's why you're going to use a lens hood. The second reason to use a lens hood, which is even more obvious than the first, yet is less known, is for protection of your lens. Lenses are expensive, and when you get really professional, the lenses are going to cost a lot more than the camera. And when you couple that with the fact that it's by far the most fragile part of a camera, that causes a pretty dangerous situation. One little bump on the wall or dropping your camera, even lightly, could cause you to break your lens. But luckily, if you have a lens hood on your lens, you don't really need to worry about this. Anything that can cause scratches or even shattering is going to intercept the lens hood before it hits your lens. This means that a lens hood is kind of just a little insurance policy for your lens, and it's a really smart way and easy way to protect it. So how to use it? There's two main ways to use the lens hood, in the normal configuration and storing it. If you have it in the storing position, it's not going to protect your lens or prevent lens flares. In fact, it's actually going to hinder you from using your zoom and focus. With only one exception, which I'm going to tell you in a minute, if you're going to use a lens hood, always have it in the normal configuration because otherwise it's not really doing anything for you. The one exception is that if you're using a flash. Using a flash with the lens hood can work if you're in a bright enough environment already, but otherwise it might actually leave a shadow in your picture or video. This is simply because the flash is made to work without a lens hood, so if you're adding one on, it's probably going to get in the way of that flash. If you did get a free lens hood with your camera, it's definitely worth using, but if you did it, is it worth buying separately? So they range anywhere usually from $5 to $30, and I found the majority around the $10 price point. I let you guys decide for yourself if it's worth buying a lens hood for the reasons we already talked about, but something important to remember is that you need one for your specific lens. Obviously, if you get the wrong size, it's not going to fit on the lens in the first place, but if you also get one too long or too short, it's going to either get in the way of the shot or it's not going to prevent any lens flares. It's certainly a very helpful tool for your camera, but then again, there's also a lot of other helpful tools you could spend your money on, but it's up to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, if you did enjoy, make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribing for more content. I really hope this video expanded your knowledge of lens hoods, and maybe you can even decide for yourself now if they're worth buying. Also, make sure to tell me down below what you liked about this video, what you didn't, and what I can improve on for future videos. But with all that out of the way, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.